Hey everybody, welcome to another Song of Ice and Fire Battle Reports. I'm back with Owen from Game with the Cooler, and today we're throwing down his Lannisters against my Starks. You've added a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, you got the NCUs, and <laughs> well, actually, and you've added a bunch of paint to a bunch of these models too. You redid your guards, um, and well, I just finished more of them. It's, yeah, it's one of those, it's a work in this progress. This army was not done when we last played. It was more of a this is able to be played. Well, this is a, I, I'll be honest. I would much rather play against armies that get finished in stages because what you did was you got everybody up to I can put them down and play a game, and then you just start adding the next level detail and the next level of the detail, and I'm totally fine with that. As as long as like when I sit down and I play the army again, I see something that's different and changed and new. That's finished to me. <laughs> that looks great. It's all about effort. Um, and then yeah, so you got some crossbows. You got <laughs> you got big T. Yeah, you got no. You paid twenty six in this army because you didn't have Tywin done last time we played. Oh, you didn't have true. Pycelle done when we played. Yeah. And then you got two units of crossbows added in here too. And, and then you're working and on some knights. Another unit of guards. And, and you paid a thirty unit of guards. That's right. Yeah, yeah. too. So actually, there's 36, 37, 38 new miniatures in this in this list. Um, I'm gonna try out Eddard today and um, Roderick Cassell, who I haven't tried out yet. Uh, and I'm working on some some new uh, some Bowman on the side too. That's my my latest project. I haven't for used or Starks. even seen anyone talk about Bowman at all. Like, um, I, I it, they're I mostly it's it, funny because they're mostly with Mage Mormon and she's not out yet. She's with the uh, Kickstarter people only right now. Mm -hmm. So she's the cool thing about her is you can yeah, shoot into Com. That is what I mean. No one's talking about them. Well, no, no. So the bowmen are the um, the ones that can shoot in combat mm -hmm. without a penalty, and then mage has an ability where she she attacks if she takes any wounds. So what you do is you shoot in combat with her, do a couple wounds to her unit, and then she has to fight immediately. So it's a way of triggering mage fighting, which is kind of cool. Oh, she has the ornery rule basically, where she lashes out. So there's like a there's a neat wombo combo with the bowman and mage, I, but mage is not like, everybody has mage right now. I've seen list discussions on the pages about right. like what to bring, and the Lannisters they don't get talked about all that much. As no, as if you buy mid. And even the crossbows in that conversation have never come up. No, it's mostly guards. I imagine that. <laughs> guards, I, I they're good. The 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 thing with them is the um. The they think they sit they sit still and don't shift they get a bonus to shots no. is that it no they what just the they just I thought there was something where if they didn't shift they got a, a bonus there's nothing long they range just sundering wander around five and shoot oh, with go. crossbows there you go well we'll see it's a neat sundering shot and of course it uh, stacks all your crazy morale penalties too so you can Cersei a unit shoot them be minus two to your your your, yeah. your morale check and stuff like that as well so all right we'll show you the table roll we'll mission uh, we'll get deployed and get this underway all right so here is a forty points of Lannisters what do we got. Uh, so we've got Tyrion and Pi or Tyrion, Tywin and Pycelle, as you might expect. Uh, this is Field Tywin, so he's the commander yeah, he's version. commander, and He'll he's attached to one of these crossbow units. Yep, and then we've got three units of guard, all with guard captains, so that they don't run. One unit of uh, pikes with the pikeman captain, the assault captain, I think he's called. Yep. And then two units of crossbows. Cool, 40 points exactly. Here's the Starks. Uh, we've got Lord Eddard. Um, I couldn't find the points to fit the honor guard in. Unfortunately, not and get my two wolvies. So we've got Eddard, which is a unit of regular Stark Sworn Swords. Um, we have a unit of Berserkers with Brandon Hodor and Summer, and then a unit of Berserkers with uh, John the Young Wolf. Then we've got Roderick Cassell and uh, Lady Catelyn as my NCUs, and you know Outriders rounding out the army. D4 for a mission, number four. All right, so we're playing the Winds of Winter, which is the secret mission mission, uh, and we'll start off deploying some terrain. So Dice Officer so places the first piece, and we place four. And I guess it's going to be me placing the first one. So they be anywhere on the table, uh, and they have to be, um, what is it, uh, 12 inches long distance outside your opponent's zone. So we'll put one, I guess, just about here. Nice course pile. It's the unbreakable one, the block's line of sight, just oh, so you know. That one. There you go, the breakable one. Wood right there. Where would tree? Ruins, sounds good. All right, rolling off for deployments. You can choose, do you want to deploy first or be first player? I would like to be first player. Okay, so you'll be first player in turn one. And we are deployed. So I've got Summer and Grey Wind with Bobby G and his, sorry, Bobby S and his uh, Berserkers. We got Eddard and his Sworn Swords, Brandon Hoder with some more Berserkers, and then the Outriders on the flank, Outriding. You got guards, guards, crossbows, crossbows, guards, halberds. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Maester Pycelle on the flank. So your missions are drawn and you have the crown. So you get to move first. Activations. Well, let's start as we mean to carry on. Draw some tactics. Uh, I'm going to draw two. Okay. I'm going to put a weakened token on your horses. And because I used Pycelle, I'm going to put another weakened token on your uh, your middle tutors. And the swan swords, yeah. yeah. Back to me. Well, let's do some, uh, some gray wind and uh, do a little move. Take my free maneuver. I'm going to go. I'm going to go six. Gonna pivot, and then we're just gonna march to the other side of this. Send some halberds, Lord Eddard's units, and he's gonna march his ten. 
So there. Margin eight. So there. I'm gonna take the brand Hoders unit and march their 12. To there. Probably gonna march 10. I might pull a few inches back in the <laughs> Okay. No, we're 12. good there. Okay. Cool. Activates Sama. Um, he's going to pivot. Make his free maneuver. Like so, and then pivot. And then we'll march. March 12. We're just gonna not quite hit the forest. Like so. As you mean to as you mean to do. Slide up in between. We're gonna go with Rob. Uh, he's going to oh I guess maneuver. Uh, no, we're not gonna go with Rob actually. We're gonna go with Maester Pice Cell. Or sorry, Roderick Cell. He's gonna jump on this. Uh, one friendly unit may make a free maneuver or retreat. So we're just gonna maneuver. Uh, and we get to go seven. Cause we're Rob. I'm gonna go again. Hello, knights. Uh, let's go with our knights. We're gonna walk the free maneuver six. And then we're gonna march ten. As we do past the weirwood, because we're moving through it because it's difficult. Lock it up. Yep. I'm gonna drop Cat onto here, and she's going to um, remove a condition, sorry, place herself onto this unit. Influence, remove this token, uh, and then she's gonna use the money bag to remove another token. I'll take this one off too. I'll activate it out, so I've still got Rob's units, and they can march. They're gonna march their 14, but not quite. Just. Just to there. That is round. Did you want to discard any secret missions? No. No? Okay. I'm, I actually am going to. I am not going to discard any, actually. Uh, and I have the crown. Turn two. Well. Go all in, Rob. There's a couple ways we can do this. Go all in, Rob. Get flanked. <laughs> there's a couple ways we can do this. Drop cat onto the money bags. Yep. Sorry, actually onto the tactics. So I can draw two tactics. Uh, and then we're going to attach her card to Rob. I'm gonna put a vulnerable onto Tywin's unit. What are you? Hmm. Can take a march. We're just gonna plow through this barricade. Going six. Blam. It's gone. Can I pivot it all? Just like that. Okay. A little bit more. Free maneuver there. there. And then you get to do it. If I do, if I, well, there's a bunch of ways I can gain a free maneuver before I do it. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, we'll do that. Okay. We're gonna go with Summer. We're going to take a free maneuver. And move short. Up to here. And then just straighten out. And then I'm going to do a free maneuver. And go 12. March. Yep. Okay. And then just face me into your flank. Yep. That's what's going to go? Yep. We're just going to take some shots. Because you are within long range. Sure is. Let's go, boys. Seven dice. Seven dice. Hitting on threes. Four. Threes? Yep. Hit them. Uh, seven. Well played. Uh, minus one. Six is a save. Six. Six. You're making a mad. Boogie check. Four plus. We're good. Let's shift your crossbow. Just gonna go right back to maximum of twelve. Yep. We're gonna go with Edard's units. And we're just gonna shift forward. Uh, it's twelve. You don't want to do shift. Just yep. gonna go to there. <laughs> My cell's gonna go. Blam. Grab the fights. Yeah. He's gonna have them shoot again. Makes sense. At them, and we're also gonna weaken them. Okay. Because he always weakens. Weakened. Click. Click. Seven. Seven? Six. Okay. That minus six. one. So sixes. Uh, perfect. They're all dead. Uh, yeah. yeah, you killed the unit. Wow, that was bad. Uh, okay. That's well, like, Rob died. I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess we just get fuse a lot of the death. <laughs> well, we didn't want to do this, but we're going to have to. We're going to use Roderick. He's going to jump this thing. Use it on Brandon Hoder's unit and make a free maneuver. Yep. And we're going to go like so. Up to six, up to there, and then just pivot again. Tywin? Tywin's gonna activate, so Kay. they're gonna gain a weaken token. Okay. Because Tywin always weakens. Within long. We're gonna shift back and shoot at maximum range here. There we go. More shots in. Bam. Hey, I missed some that's, shots. That's better. Four. <laughs> and then sixes. Nope, it's four. There goes a rank. Plus, plus. Morale. Good. Yep. Even with uh, the minus yep. one. Yep. Well, let's do these fools. Uh, they're gonna move four. The free maneuver. Actually, 
Yeah, we're gonna move four. Free maneuver to there. Ugh. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna march beside you. Get your line of sight. Right to there. Go ten. No, it's two less. Good ten. Oh, yeah. I'll pivot. I forgot. Rodder needs to influence a unit. When he's uh, when he comes tax zone. Yeah, I need to influence. Yeah, we're gonna influence these guys. What does his do? Uh, they get critical blow. So sixes become two hits. You lose all of your abilities on your NCU. Sorry, to go back to your Roderick. Sure, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, and then you have to randomly discard one tactics. Kay. Oh, no, I don't have So him. he doesn't influence that. You don't have yeah. the crown yet. That's it. Okay, so he goes back. Come march in. going in. Sweet. Gonna fight over the corpse pile. I like it. We're gonna go with uh, Greywind. Gonna put. Going to make a move. Six. Going to pivot. March 12. I'm tempted to go like this actually. I actually march three in it. Can I clear it? Not quite. I'm gonna pivot like this. And then march 12. And up behind him. Yep. Where's he gonna go? They're basically just gonna move up and then turn all the way around. Looks good. Well, I think we just go in. Let's charge. Let's see how we do. Charging. Yeah. We're good. Uh, sorry, two pick lowest. We're still good. Why is it two? Because I'm going through this. Oh. Nine hacks. Reroll misses. And then reroll. You gonna make my weekend go oh, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Definitely. <laughs> Operation live. <laughs> yeah. Right, one, one on the floor. Uh, so it's gonna be five at minus one. Play well with the rock for plus one of your saves. So, so threes. Three plus all together. Two, one. Take one. And that's still morale. Leadership eight because of. Uh... No, it's just the minus one of your roll. I know, but it's minus one of your roll. You never, you never modify your leadership stat. We're good. Eight. You're good. Minus two for me. Uh, that's, sorry, before. Oh. That's three, so I was actually going to play this card to give you another minus one. Sure, so two. It's actually a one, so I take three casualties. Cool. Activation. That's turn. You got your last activation yet, yeah, those guys? I don't know what to do with them. Like, you kind of... <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? We'll kind of trap you, I suppose. We'll do a maneuver. I'm going to turn all the way, okay. walk, and then turn again, and just basically trap you in this corner. Sweet. That's my intent, because you can't rotate over me, right? Nope. Oh. All right. We'll do That's it. all you got. All right. Well, it's turn three. Scorny secret... Oh, sorry. We didn't it's, reveal. We money. forgot to reveal our secret. Yeah. The, the open mission was score VP if you control the money bag and the thing at the end of the round. Okay, well, <laughs> neither of us could have, I didn't. You could have, potentially. I got one of the two. I got, it's one of the two, you get three if you control both. So, you okay. could never have gotten yeah, yeah. any but one, and I got one. You gonna get that one? I hold one objective for one point. Okay, cool. So you get one as well. You need to draw one. Three, you have the crown. Gonna and these have been scored. Three. And yeah, you draw a uh, secret mission if you don't have two. You have got two. one already? Okay. Yep. I'm gonna play that actually. Okay. Uh, I'm actually sorry. I'm actually gonna discard one too. Oh, discard I'm this one and grab a new one. Uh, reveal this mission at the start of any round. Select one objective. This one. Mm -hmm. If I control that objective with an unengaged friendly unit at the end of the round, I'll score three. Sweet. And then I'm also gonna play the Lion's Wrath. Uh, I'm gonna select one enemy combat unit to be weakened. We're gonna pick them. Okay. Actually, we're gonna pick them. Okay. And then all for this round, all weakened enemies have minus one to movement and disorderly charges on a one or a two. Sweet. Marks, right? Yep. Hmm. Take a shot if you want. I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to. I'm figuring out how bows work. <laughs> That's it. You can shoot a melee, but you'll have to make. I'll, I'll take damage, but you'll make a pack test as well. And the uh, the pivot at the beginning can. You break. can't pivot. It's I a shift any direction two inches. Yep. Got it. So I can't turn and then no. Be like no. die. No. Um, you can move sideways, but you can't pivot. He's gonna go. Yeah, he's gonna go. Um, now they're not in long of the middle of this. Does it just count from any part of my unit for his ability? Yeah, from any part of your unit. Yeah, it's just measured edge to edge. When this, you can those guys. Yep. And then we're gonna put some crossbow bolts. Or we're gonna shift back a bit because Tywin is he's a brave man, but it's a smart man. He's also a smart man. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna put shots in him. He saw what happened to Rob there. Important. Yep. Seven crossbow bolts hitting on threes. And they're weakened now. Five. Five? Six. six. That's gonna be enough. Sixes. The whole unit's dead. And then you make a panic test. Yep. Uh, so effectively eight because of spooky ground. And we're fine. You're fine. Mission again. You score VP for controlling the letters and or uh, maneuvers part of the tactical board. If you control both, you get three. I'm actually gonna grab the letters with... Her. Or Roderick, rather. He's going to attach himself to that unit. Remove their weakened as well from the... being on there. And then... No, oh, no, sorry. The, pla the it's place one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, let's place a vulnerable on these guys. Right. Tactics. Over to you. 
Grab the seven. maneuvers, we score one, yep. Yep. And then we're gonna weaken that doggo. Them? No, no, the dog. They're already weakened. Got it. And then we're gonna just kind of maneuver. They're basically gonna turn, move, turn, just to square off. In front. Right. Okay, Cat's gonna go. She's gonna grab the money bag. She's gonna attach herself to, I think, Eddard's unit. Clean that off, and he's got one now. And then she's gonna use the money bag to move one over here. To you. So, you won't be able to retreat if I hit you in the side. So we're gonna charge. Okay. To you disorderly. Nope. nope, in you go. Blammo. And I can always retreat because I have after you attack me if I survive I retreat. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't realize you could just That's just my order. I've hit and, hit and run. Okay. Yeah. If you well, attack me, I'll just retreat away afterwards. Got it. In that case, these guys are gonna just kind of truffle shuffle onto the objective. Okay. Guards unit's gonna go. He's gonna swift advance, which is when I activate, I can make a free maneuver. I'm gonna go six. So they only move five. Oh, so they don't do only move five. Whoop. Berserkers move six. And that's on activation. Then I'm gonna declare a charge yep. for devastating impact. I control the horsey, so I automatically roll a six. That is a makes it. Yep. And I do plus two automatic wounds. Then I'm gonna play Northern Ferocity to gain Sundering. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Because I already am rolling a six uh, up. Because <laughs> you're already rolling a six up, yeah. We'll use Stark Fury, so you get plus one to hit. And that's it. So eight attacks, hit on threes. Threes because I'm plus one from Stark Fury. And I have Critical Blow. Sixes count as twos. That's right. So that's gonna be two more. four, plus four is eight. Six Seven. Plus, uh, I made two. Two, so okay. six so die. Six die. And that's panicking at minus two because you've been attacked in the rear. Uh, seven. Four. So you lose. Four more. Four more. Three more. Three more. March forward. Yep. Bam. Okay. We're gonna pivot. And we're gonna pivot like uh, Doggo's pretty. He can only move five right now. He'll move five because he's yeah because you've got your card over here. So he'll go to there basically so the dog can't get him in the back. Activate the horsies. I'm gonna make a free maneuver. Yep. I'm gonna pivot. I'm gonna flank charge your unit. One in. Ugh. In but disordered, so we got eight attacks. Hitting on fours. And we will play Northern Ferocity. Which is no point, because they only have five up saves, don't they? Yeah, so I'm already flank charging you, and six is always passed. So hit on fours, sixes are two hits. Uh, so that's gonna be four hits total. Ugh, need to not get that Six one. Plus. Yeah. Three. Oh, I have to reroll it. And yet I'm not gonna make you reroll it. Okay. Probably the, for the best to not make yeah. you reroll that. And then that's a panicking. Minus one. Uh, so that's, one. That's a fail. Yep. They're so you're nine, seven. Eight normally. Are they eight plus normally? Yeah. Oh geez, so you lose seven more. Over to you, yep. So they're activated. Well, I guess you guys gotta go. I should have just charged you in the side. Oh well. So, activate him. Everyone's gonna go. He's gonna make a free maneuver. Moving six, off. five, five. Sorry, that's right. Yeah, because you're yeah. crazy. And then we'll just pivot and march and turn around. Moving We're nimble. gonna slide these guys back a little bit. Okay. And then they're gonna shoot these guys. Go for it. Yep. Three plus six times, seven times. You're gonna take six at minus one. Okay. So my fours go to fives. Oh, there you go. Take two. Uh, then I'll make a panicking. What is your leadership? Uh, my leadership is five plus or six plus. Plus. I am going to hear my hear me roar for an additional minus one. Okay. So that's a five. So you. So I lose one. Uh, when a failed panic tech. Ah, I'll just save it. Okay. You need it elsewhere. Well, you make one too. Uh, yep. Seven. Good. Okay. That's me. Uh, I'm gonna pivot. Maneuver is not weakened, and then pivot, and then flank charge you. You shouldn't be able to corner. get the flank, that's fine. Yeah. I'll just go straight in. That was why they were facing like that. Sure, okay. you know what then? I'll flank charge them. Okay. Uh, you're six? Yep. So you need like a four? Like Fails. All distance towards you. So you move seven inches. Right. And turn? Yep. And we're going to spend our assault's captain's ability. Uh, we ban began engaged for plus one to hit and plus two dice. Sweet. Fives to hit, hit on threes, or five dice hit on threes. Take three, at sundering one. Okay, so I need fives. Nope, three more. And then 
Another panic. Another panic. Minus nothing. Nope. I pass. Uh, I may use one of uh, Eddard's orders. When I pass morale test um, or charge, I can move an order token to restore two wins to the unit. I can put two back. Sorry, they should have taken D3 from their, um, oh, when, when they made the attacks there. earlier, yeah. It's just have D3 less, one, one less. Looks like turn, turn four, I've got the crown, did you score anything? Uh, I didn't get this one, because, wait. Yeah, because I selected this objective, and they are engaged. You got so it. So I didn't score this. And then I am going to reveal this at the end of my turn. I'm controlling the center objective. If I control it at the next round, I score four. Okay. You get one from the open, go to two each. And that gets discarded. Yeah, I'm going to draw a new one. Yep. Because I don't like the one I had. I, mean, I, I get one, I think, because this will still be in play. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Yeah, I'm drawing a new one. Yeah. Open mission for this round is going to be revealed at zero of a turn. Until the end of the round, friendly units controlling objectives may forfeit their action to score VP instead. Do you have another objective to reveal? Yeah, reveal at the start of any turn. Score one victory point for each enemy that fails a morale test. Cool. Well, let's do the easy thing. Uh, we're going to take Roderick, and he's going to make them attack. Uh, he's going to attach their unit again so that they get... Critical blow. Exploit weakness. For every one you roll, you suffer an automatic wound. Cool. Hit him, boys. Uh, okay, so take plus one, so seven hits. This is the same, because it's a flank. They're dead. Okay, they explode. I'm going to reveal one of my missions, score four when you destroy the enemy commander. And I've got a free maneuver, so I'm just going to pivot, go six, like so, and then turn around, face the other way. So that's going to go. And uh, draw two tactics. I'm going to put out two weakens, and we're going to weaken uh, Eddard's unit, and we're going to weaken Doggo. Okay, I'm going to activate them. They're going to pivot, so they're facing your rear and charge you in the rear. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that, actually. Stay there. I'm going to activate Cat. She's going to grab the money bag to restore three wounds here, and I'm going to move, and she'll attach herself to this unit, which this will remove their weaken. I'm going to play Sudden Charge. No, I'm not going to play Sudden Charge. I'm going to play back to you. Back to me. Got yeah. It. And I'll remove another condition. I'll remove the weekend that was on them. Yeah. If there was one, yeah. Oh, because you put one on Eddard and Doggo? They didn't yeah. actually have one. I'll take one off the dog then. Yeah. Which dog? They both well, have one. This one right here. Okay. Just making sure. All uh, right. And they've activated, yeah. No. No, they haven't. They turned around last turn. That's right. Yeah. Howard's going to go? Yep. Yeah. They're going to fight. We're going to hold the line. Do it. Gaining plus one to hit and two extra dice for five more dice into Eddard and Friends. Okay. Hitting on threes, getting four. Okay, that's thundering. They're minus one, yep. Yep, so fives. Three. Pass one, so three. And then morale, six plus. We're okay, so we're gonna get, uh, I'm gonna remove another order token off Eddard to put two wins back on. How many does he have? Uh, three, he's got one left. Back to me, we're gonna go with Summer. She's gonna charge the flank of them. So just pivot me. Yeah. I fail, I guess disordered still. Two attacks on twos. Two hits, minus one. Uh, so five up. Yep. Crossbows. We're gonna die this turn. The question is, how do we want to die this turn? <laughs> We're gonna back up so you can't pivot on the spot. Because you're bigger square rotating this way, right? Mm -hmm. I can just back up, just move backwards. Shoot the Eddard. Yep. Go get him. Seven dice. <clears throat> Three plus. Oh, crossbow's getting tired. Okay. Three fives. Yep. Take two One. More. Take two more, and then you're gonna spend the last token for. No, I'm gonna pass my test first. Oh, that's true. I passed my test, so yeah. I'm gonna yeah spend the last one. Back to me. Well, if I don't kill you to a man, we're all on them. Oh, that's true. Just die, please. Not today. You're laughing. No. Well, I guess you gotta fight, Ned. Get Sorry, Ned. buddy. Uh, we're gonna play Northern Ferocity. Northern Ferocity gets some Sundering. Uh, and we top, uh, we'll do the D3 wounds as well. Freeze it, and we'll use our uh, Northern Ferocity. Oh my god. Uh, uh, three. It's worth it at least. Minus one save. So four goes to five. Yep. We gotta pass. Live. Two. And then morale. Atta boy. <laughs> If this unit has one remaining rank, it also gains vicious, uh, and I can you you are vulnerable, so you have to reroll that six. I control this because I control the swords. Oh really? Yeah. I control sword. The unit becomes vulnerable when I make an attack. But you don't have vicious. I don't, but I have the vulnerable, which means you have to reroll that one save that you passed. You're dead. Uh, I am going to do one enemy becomes panicked, one enemy becomes vulnerable, and Kay. we're going to do it to uh, this boy. 
Okay, is there panic mode rule? Uh, these guys get to maneuver. I'll maneuver oh, like yeah, so. And he gets to pivot. He'll pivot like that. Charge your horsies. Yep. Gotta do what you gotta do. You made it. Six. From, yeah, you're good. There you go. You've got six, six. yeah. Hitting on fours. Not that great at the fighting. Mm, Real hits, though? No. Hat? <laughs> no. He's charged. Oh, that's true. Uh, so we get three. And the force to move. Force to move. Yep. So we get four. Four will saves. Take Pass two. two. We're gonna make a six plus save. Or six plus morale. Take another wound. So two wounds on a guy. So he'll lose uh, one horsey. Blammo. I'm gonna play Fury for the Fallen after a friendly unit not containing Eddard Stark's attack. The Eddard Stark's main unit may pivot and perform a free attack or charge action. So I'm gonna pivot and charge here. Sure. Oh. Exit. All we go. D3 wins from last thing too. They took another two guys from when they win their Fury. Uh, I will Fury again. For a point for me failing a Patrick there. I was kind of banking on you failing more than one when I made you do like it's six. It's true. It uh, so eight attacks hitting on threes. Yep. Two, four, six, eight. And we're rolling all my misses. So there's this many. Seven hits, no penalties. So five just plus. five ups. Yeah, we lost. Six. Do you want me to use my, my vulnerable? <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference. You're gonna lose one. seven or one more. No, I'm gonna keep it. You're fine. Oh, and sorry, they need to spend their order, and they're gonna fall back because that happens after they get it. Oh, I can only do one trigger after an attack. You're making a check on eight. Yeah. Good. Well, we don't have much to do here, but I think we're going to just swing with the calf, do yep. some punches. So they've got eight attacks and on fours because still have all their levels, and they still have critical blow, uh, which they don't get. So just three hits. Three plus. Lannisters. We failed one. one. Uh, I'll roll my test, and, and if I do pass, that, yeah. I'll kill a guy. You're good. Two. I take one of my two from superiority. That's that a, D3. a D3. I'm fine. Your turn. They're going to forfeit their action to generate a point. And score. And, okay, and then I'm going to charge over here. Yep. In the rear. Get him, doggo. Two plus. Yeah, I fail. And then two's to hit. And then you make me roll my successes. Sure. Hit you once. <laughs> Minus two. Uh, five plus. I die. Leadership. Morale. I pass. Morale for you, doggo. I'm two plus. Four for their actions, great another one. So I'm gonna get two more monies. Okay, so you go to five. You're gonna go to nine. End of the round from holding the center point at the end. Round five, you're on two. I'm gonna discard one. New open mission, and I'm gonna draw two. Open mission is scroll one victory point if you control the crown and the, uh, or the letters. I'm gonna play this. Reveal this mission at the start of any turn. Score one VP if you uh, charge. Play another one, score one VP, uh, and select one friendly unit. Score one VP each time it has to make a, each time it's attacked but not destroyed during the round, I'm gonna put on the Knights. Regina, you just straight a victory point, cool. All right. And I also have a few beginning of the turn ones. Cool. Uh, start of the turn, uh, one enemy combat unit becomes weakened, and we're gonna pick the big E. Sounds good, getting the horses, yep. yep. And then, we're gonna play um, Lannister Intimidation. Expend a weekend, and you lose all abilities on these guys. Okay. First action. This goes away. Those are up on yep, These guys are currently not attached. Isel's going to go? Yep. He's going to get the bag. Okay. We're going to heal three wounds on my crossbows. Sounds good. And remove their weaken. And then nice. weakened. You put weakened on the swords? Yep. Okay. Well, we're going to take Roderick. He's going to drop onto here. I think, but we're gonna we're gonna remove that and place it with sudden charge instead uh, to allow Grey Wind to charge your flank. So I have critical blow, and then he's gonna charge. Yep. Two plus. Yeah, we're on the flank. Two attacks on twos. We're rolling because it charged. Uh, two hits, minus one, so sixes. Take two wounds and a panicking. We're good. You good? I won actually. Yeah. And then I'm gonna gain a VP for charging. Yep. I was gonna go, and they're just gonna go for uh, the big make big some man. stabs, okay? Big man himself, stabbing Ned. They got four dice, hit non fours. Okay, take three. He's in three five ups. Short swords. And you fail I guess you're not gonna explain the weekend. Yep. And then my my morale. Uh huh. Oh, I think we'll just keep that. Okay, a minus one, so it's a two. So it's four more guys. 
Okay. Uh, plus three, so they're just dead. Destroy a unit that has not activated for two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve, so the round ends. It's going to be whoever has the most VPs. Well, cat, jump on here. Attach yourself to that unit. Uh, and we're going to make this, we'll make him fight again. Hit twice. Minus one. Yeah. This is the scary part, though, because we're yes. leadership bad. Uh, fine die. Yeah. Goodbye, friends. Bye, guys. My word. a free maneuver because I destroyed the unit. Yep. So we're just going to, now we're going to go that way. Anywhere within six, basically, yep. right? Right there. Uh, you know what? Actually, pivot me and just move me over to there. Because that way I can march behind you, hopefully. These guys can pivot. We'll find a dog. Well, we're in melee, so we'll just fight him. Well, you, you can't pivot if you're engaged more than one side, so you're going to pivot first. Yeah. You can fight without pivoting. Is there some fours? Tie, doggy. Take five. That was, that was um, the He's got a <laughs> three plus save? Three plus save. Good night, Sixty Prince. He's dead. Another point, go to 13. Back to me. Uh, we're going to maneuver, pivot, and then try your bomb. I think. Pivot like so. Go six. Like that. Actually, I don't think we'll be able to make the rear. Like this. And then charge your flank. Don't roll one. Yep. And then it's two attacks on twos. Both hits. Minus one. Four plus. Like one. Morale. Seven. He rolls it first. Uh, Kill a guy. guy. Yeah, so that order's gone now. Good. Nope. Another one for charging. And it's back to you. We're just sleeping it off now. Okay. There we go. I guess they could have fought. They could have fought. <laughs> we'll fight with them first, how about? <laughs> oh, okay. So and these then guys turn we're around? Gonna, yeah, they'll, they'll be facing the wrong way. They're not going to pivot, they'll just attack the dog. Okay. Six attacks on fours. Four. Okay. And they can't pivot, actually. He passes. Their all, I thought I could. They did yeah. nothing, so I'm good. Uh, it means I can't make my free retreat for you hitting me, which is what I wanted to do. You can't anyway, because you have no abilities in your card. Oh, that's right. I don't have abilities in my card right now, because you're, you, you need to attach that card to me. Oh, okay. So that we remember it's there. Uh, I'm and then remembering. I, <laughs> no, I know. Uh, and then I'll attack you with them. So they always attack with their highest, because a cat, and they get sundering or super blows. Uh, take five plus two, so seven. On threes. There's one. Morale. And you've lost your order already. Lannister, you're fine. Take one. You We're good. Yeah, okay. That's turn circles. five. Yeah, it's been <laughs> circles. So I'm at uh, three, six, eight, and you're at nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there we go. End of the game. 13 to eight. We did all right. We got crossbows. up there. Crossbows, are, crossbows really well. are pretty legit. Yeah, no, crossbows are pretty hard counter to my berserkers. That and, and like, Perfect rolls. <laughs> the first perfect roll was a good one. I mean, on threes, I should only miss one or two. I should have. Dice. I should have actually also remembered. Um, I could use Eddard's tokens on anybody within the long of him, so I could have actually saved uh, Rob's unit if I just healed two wounds and then failed, and then yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I would have two wounds left to potentially bring him back. Um, but that was my first time playing Eddard, and his. Uh, his ability to keep people alive is pretty great, but a lot of his abilities proc off things being destroyed. I don't know if I like him as much as I like Rob and the Blackfish, but this is still us experimenting like for all the characters and stuff. I, would I bet, them. yeah. for life. They are, they are pretty bros. Yeah. So, so you have an idea for a new list for next week or next time we play, and it's going to be um, it's the Lannister family values. Yeah. It's the whole fam. And their and their associates. And and their known associates. And that's they're, right. They're they're mindless <laughs> slaves. One of them is a giant man and the well, other one is an old man. Well at this point I don't think he's a zombie yet. I'm really hoping they do a Kingsguard version of him, but I mean that wouldn't be because they're using the books. They probably will never do a zombie version oh, of him. Do they, do they do the zombie book? Oh, because he fight he does fight the Red the Viper in um yeah, in the books, that's right. At that point. I mean, but I mean, the results of that is he determined it was zombie. So that could happen then. They and might his do. His name is uh, Sir Strong. Circle of Game? No, he's Oh, they changed his name. Like that's right. Something Strong. Something Strong. Because they. Uh, and they're they, like, that's not Clegane. And well, they've like, showed off the Kingsguard unit. Him. They've shown off the Kingsguard unit. Because you're going to get, at some point, you're going to get. Um, what's his name? The, the kid everyone hates. Joffrey. Joffrey, that's right. You're going to get Joffrey and his Kingsguard. And maybe they'll do one of the Kings, uh, Kingsguard attachment being the mountain. They should be really good. They should be. They should be the best like, fighters. I mean, they're supposed to be the best fighters like in the realm. Two like, plus period. Armor, two plus to hit kind of thing. I think the best infantry seem to only have three plus in the heaviest armor. But maybe like a minus to hit them or something like that because they're such good fighters. Like a dueling bonus, you know what I mean? Like something like that. Like an order where you can make the minus one to hit because they duel you instead. Because they're, they're supposed to be like, a, like an unending order. Is what I can yeah. see. Like something like, and, and, or it could be an auto block hits. A lot of units that are defensive yeah. block hits. Because their whole thing is they're supposed to be guarding the king. They're not necessarily like a, a fighting unit. They're a we don't die, we stay here fighting forever. Also, unit. the king's guard is down. Wrong kind of plebs. 
It's true. Well, what was the, what was the, the, what, the king's No, but there's that line. What was that line when when uh, when Arya says that this guy's on my uh, on my list, and he's like, that guy, one of the greatest swordsmen in Bravos, killed by with Marin Trant, yeah. <laughs> and he just starts making fun he of Marin Trant. Sword. Why do you have a sword? sword? <laughs> <laughs> it's killed by Sir Marin Trant. Marin Trant, I could kill twenty Marin Trants. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you for more um, A Song of Ice and Fire in the future. Big thanks for watching. Thanks not Mash is on. Not programming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathway Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.